Hey guys, so it appears that when I was doing what I thought was a um, time-lapse videos to show you how I did that, that I forgot to hit the on button. So there is the finished product, but I'm going to show you just really quickly uh, what I did so you can add more color to your thing if you want to. I figured out that if you take a paintbrush, and we all have a brush that we got in our, our kits, and just drip some water right there on the thing, and then take, again, a watercolor pen, and just add it like that, it adds some color to it, and then if the water is drippy enough, it will make it kind of bleed and run in different directions if you tip the the thing down and just add that little streak of color to it. Um, so here, let's go ahead and add a little pink here. So I'm gonna add a little more water right here. Um, and let me find the pink pen. There's my bright. The brighter the color pens, the better it works, just so you know. Um, and you can kind of roll it through if there's not enough water. Sometimes it bleeds. But if there's just a little water, sometimes you just kind of go like that and it adds a little. I thought I put enough water on there, but it doesn't look like I did. So there you go. And then you can streak the water just a little bit more and add just a little more color here and there. And then in just a little bit, I'm going to show you, once you get it the way you really like it, I'm going to show you how you can seal it in there and make it... Um, permanent and it will also brighten all the colors up just a little bit. So and it's with something that you always have in the household. So I'm going to go ahead and do a time lapse of just uh, fixing a few areas that I want to fix on here. The one thing that we don't want to forget is we want to make sure we get the sides of our frame also. So just take a little water again like we've been doing and you can just dab it on there and then go ahead and take a pen. Now you know you could probably do this with your watercolor set if you have a watercolor set and a brush. You probably don't. I just don't have watercolors right here at my house. So I am just going to slowly do the edges um, all the way around just to get them wet. See if I can add a little bit of water. And on these edges, you probably don't want the water to sit for a really long time because um, you don't want the wood to swell. So again, when we're getting it wet, we want to use a little thought about that we're doing it on wood. And wood can take some water, just not lots and lots of water all the time. So there we go. Let's see if we don't, none of that pink didn't go in there at all, but that's okay. It still has some color to it, right? So we can add just a little more water again. So if we look at it with the side and everything, that's what it's looking like. It's looking pretty nice. Pretty excited. I'm going to show you how to finish it in just a minute after it all dries. So I have a pastry brush. You could use a cloth. Now if you use your brush, this is an actual pastry brush. This brush has never been used for paint. Um, just remember, uh, once you get oil on it, on these natural fibers, it's probably not going to work for a lot of other things. It's good to use just as a pastry brush or a brush um, that you use with oil and stuff. You just kind of brush over it like that, giving it a nice coat. It kind of makes the colors pop just a little bit. Um, and you just go all the way around it just like that. Uh, the oil will slowly sink in if there's a little excess oil on it. It will slowly sink into the um, to the wood. I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges that I um, had painted. There we go, just to get those nice and sealed also. Okay, so we're going to let it sink in just a little bit. Um, for a few minutes here, we're going to give it a chance to sink in. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a paper towel and um, take off any excess. But if the wood is 
what I, as dry as I think it is, it should probably soak up that oil pretty well. Now I have a paper towel, and I'm just going to go like this and wipe it a little bit, just trying to get off any excess oil so I don't leave oil wherever I'm going to set it up. Just like that. And you know, I had a friend who brought me a little gift, and on the packaging, she had left a pretty, um, some pretty beads that say rejoice on there. And I am going to go ahead and take this and glue it right to the back, right here. Let me hang that down just a little bit like that. I'm gonna come like this. I'm gonna take those strings, I'll cut those strings off later, but right now I'm gonna use them since they're longer and see if I can get them to just glue, I don't know, might be able to use tape, but we're gonna, I'm gonna try to use some glue here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down there and then it will be all finished once that dries. There it is, all nice and finished, ready to get a picture put in it and to go. I was gonna put a little postcard in it that had pretty words, but then I realized that all my postcards sit the other direction, so I'm gonna have to go find another one or make a little saying to go inside of it uh, on a piece of paper. Hope you guys have fun, and these frames are at the OCB store. You can use your bucks, your OCB bucks, to purchase them and make them.